we're going to do graphing, but we're going to be using tables to graph things. So I have an equation here. Does anyone know what type of equation that is? Linear. That's right. That's a linear equation. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a table on the side dealing with x and y values. And what we're going to do is plug values into this equation to find coordinates, and then we're going to plot those coordinates. So, for instance, let's say I'm just going to start at negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. I'm going to have these five coordinates plugged into x in this equation. So, for x in this equation, the very first step is we're going to plug in negative 2. So, y is equal to negative 2 over 3 times negative 2. We just replaced x with it, plus 5. Now we've got to remember our fraction rules. I have two negatives times a positive, or sorry, two negatives times each other, so this is going to be a positive answer. I'm going to have positive 4 over 3. And I'm going to do this in one step because I have to do this five different times. So I hope you guys are getting stronger with fractions. I'm going to turn this into a fraction over 3, which means it's going to be plus 15 over 3. Okay. And then we're going to be adding them. Because we're adding them, our denominators need to be the same, so I get 19 over 3, which is approximately 6.33? Yeah, something like that. Okay? So, our first y coordinate would be 6.3 repeated, roughly. So that's a coordinate right there. I've discovered one. I have to go through this process several times in order to get an answer. So we'll go through another one. We'll do negative 1. y is equal to negative 2 over 3. This time I plug in negative 1 plus 5. Um, now, I shouldn't have written it like this because that's not true. When we multiply those, I'm going to get positive 2 over 3 plus 5. Same idea. It's going to be 2 over 3 plus 15 over 3. 17 over 3. Now, if you're getting confused with the multiplication, 17 over 3 is 5.6. Okay. If you're getting confused with the multiplication, remember I'm turning whole numbers into fractions, and we multiply, we go across top to top and bottom and bottom. Well, since the whole numbers bottoms are always going to be one, I know my denominator is not going to change when multiplying. Okay. So I go through that process. All right. The next one is zero. So y is equal to two negative two over three times zero plus five. Zero times anything will be zero. Yeah, so this cancels out, and really we just get y equals 5. Oh. So that's very simple. The next coordinate is 0 and 5. Yeah, yeah there will be a pattern. Because it's linear, it's going to be constantly going down by 2 thirds. Okay? So the next one will actually be, I think, 4.3. And the next one should be going down by 2 thirds 3.6. Right? So these are our coordinates. That's the pattern there. And if you plug them into the rest, that's what you get. And now what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to actually plot these on a graph. So I'm going to bring up a graph. All right. So the reason I've zoomed out like this is because these are coordinates we need to plug into our graph. So this is the x value at negative 2 and the y value at 6.3. So at negative 2 and 6.3, which is roughly here, that's our first coordinate. Our next one is negative 1 and 5.6. So I go to negative 1 on the x, and 5.6 is probably about there. 0 would be right on the y-axis, and that's when y is 5. And we continue that pattern, y and 4.3, and 2 and 3.6. So we'll zoom in on the graph now. Hopefully that's somewhat close. Okay. So these are roughly our points. And then from here, we just draw a line through it. And we've sketched a graph of this equation. The equation was the original one that we'd started with. y is equal to negative 2 or 3x plus 5. So this is how you would graph that equation.